more than a year ago. When Russian tanks moved into Ukraine, they served as a symbol of aggression and invasion. These are you know, normal families who were having completely normal lives and then one day just like that, their life was, was flipped upside down. Alex Zadvor, though, saw something more. He is a Chicagoan who immigrated from Ukraine when he was 12 and along with his team at gate.org envisioned a way to turn that symbol into something to help those families 5,000 miles away. What if we could get a Russian tank? It is a moonshot idea, to be sure. He tried everything, every contact he had, every contact others had to try to make it happen. And after seven of them failed, I was like, this is just not going to go anywhere. And then the eighth one's like, hey, we think we have a way. Uh, and ultimately, they, they end up you know, going to the main general of the Ukraine Armed Forces, Valery Zeluzhny. And he's like, look, this is just not possible during war. Uh, I'd love to help you, but we can't do it. And somehow the defense intelligence chief, who's like the CIA equivalent in Ukraine, found out what we're up to. And he's like, oh, we could totally do this. We could do it through one of our brigades called Kraken. And they did. That tank made a 14-hour journey from Kharkiv to a factory away from the front lines, where this symbol of war is being disarmed, disassembled, and distributed for donations. 500 of these metal rings machined from the tank's gun are being sold online for a $250 donation. The money goes right back to Ukraine to help. We help a lot of families with children, so many of them, you know, write us messages like, hey, I was able to go to the store and buy my kids bananas for the first time in six months, right? And they're, you know, heart, just very, very heartbreaking messages, but that's, that's where it's going. You could call it a silver lining coming from this silver circle, bringing a symbol of war full circle as a symbol of hope and of help. Honestly, it feels very humbling just because, you know, we're just such a tiny drop in the bucket and you know, trying our best, but it's really the Ukrainian people that inspire us and we're just trying to do our, our little part. Sean Lewis, WGN News.